Yes, Ken Mijungu, we're just on the southern bypass, on the border, uh, of course, of Wilson Airport. We just arrived here a few minutes ago, uh, where the Silverstone airplane, we told, had crashed a few minutes after 8 o'clock in the morning. What, of course, we've been told so far is that there are lots of, uh, the, of course, there's no been death uh, reported here, but there are a number of injuries that have been reported. Passengers who on board the plane, the plane was leaving Wilson Airport, uh, headed to Lamu. Some of the passengers had been injured and of course have been uh, taken to various hospitals in the city center. Uh, we just arrived here, we've been trying to speak to some of the people who are the scene to tell us what exactly happened. Uh, so far we've not uh, really gotten much information about what was the cause of the accident. We tried speaking to the Kenya Civil Aviation Authority, their communication office. One of the things they told us is they've not established so far what is the cause of the accident, but some of the people that we spoke to, uh, security officers who are here saying that it could be as a result of a mechanical problem that occurred uh, in the plane. Uh, so that is what may have caused the, the, the accident that occurred here in the morning. But we, the information is still a bit scanty on what happened. What we know so far is that the, air, the, the plane that has just crashed belongs to Silver Line airplanes. Uh, we don't know how much uh, in terms of the number of passengers as well in the plane. That uh, the Kenya Civil Aviation Authority says it will be updating going forward on the number of uh, passengers who are in the plane, the number of injuries and the nature of injuries that have occurred. But so far, no death have been reported. Uh, we've been spoken to uh, uh, witnesses here were saying uh, of course uh, nobody uh, saw the plane come down but uh, passengers of course who were in the plane were saying uh, that it came down around a few minutes to 8 o'clock. So we just be uh, keeping tab just to tell, let you know what exactly happened, what was the cause of the accident the number of passengers were in the plane. Uh, of course, we also expect a statement from the Silverstone Airlines just to tell us what was the issue with their airplane uh, and what was the reason uh, for the crash. Uh, what we are currently seeing so far is that security officers have cordoned off the place trying to uh, 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 get uh, the wreckage or the plane out of where it is. Uh, uh, of course, there are passerbys here. Of course, uh, which people also standing by just to see what happens uh, as as security officers and uh, the engineers from the Kenya Civil Aviation Authority, and also of course our officials also from Wilson Airport try to uh, piece information together and see what. We don't have a lot of information about what happened. I just, uh, besides uh, the fact that it came down and of course injuries have been reported and people have been taken to hospital, but we'll be updating you going forward to see what exactly happened and, and get more details and update you as we going forward. Back to you, Ken. All right. Um, uh, thanks, Silas. Um, just wondering, have you been able to go to the other side? Because you are at the bypass, we can clearly see the plane and the fire truck. But have you been able to go into Wilson Airport, perhaps, to speak to the authorities? Uh, the entrance into Wilson Airport has not been easy, of course. Today we tried uh, maneuvering and getting inside the Wilson Airport through the main entrance. That we were able to get in, but in terms of getting to across the runway, of course, there are security issues in terms of accessing the runway uh, uh, as a civilian. So we've not been able to access the runway and probably come uh, uh, get to the scene of the accident through the, the official entrance. That's why we've been able to uh, maneuver, of course, and come to this other side of the entrance. Uh, the, the information here has been very scant in terms of what information goes outside. Uh, the officials here are very uh, guarded in terms of what exactly uh, they tell us and what exactly should be uh, uh, given to the public. They're saying that they want to do a comprehensive analysis of what happened, a comprehensive so that they're able to get a comprehensive report of what was the cause of the accident, what are the things that, uh, of course, went wrong, and uh, in terms of uh, going forward, what is the way going forward in terms of mitigating this issue. I remember, of course, uh, accidents involving airplanes are, have been uh, have, 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 have been reported minimally. Going, for, have been reported minimally. But of course, when such things happen, of course, they raise a lot of eyebrows and issues and questions are raised in terms of uh, the 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 conditions of the planes and in terms of of course the management of the whole crisis so probably the reason why they've been a bit uh, guarded in terms of the information coming out is because of the crisis management trying to of course piece information together and, and find a way of communicating this going forward so we've not been able to get official communication from the officials here at the uh, wilson airport from silverstone or from the kenya civil aviation authority ken